I were trying this Tile and Tub retouch to see if it actually works, so stay with me. So I've never used this product before, and it says to clean the area with soap and water and then rinse, rinse and let dry, which I've already done that. And then we need to mix each bottle by rolling it between our palms before your use, and then pouring part A to part B and rolling it again to mix it. So no shaking, just mixing. And you have to use it within 24 hours. So it sets up within 24 hours. And I'm assuming there's a paintbrush in one of these, but I guess we'll see. So let's mix it up and see how it works. Because my nicks were a little deep, I decided to use some sandpaper just to make it as smooth as possible beforehand. And then it was time to mix that paint by rubbing it between the palms. After I felt like each bottle was mixed well, I opened them up and poured part A into part B. And I did find out that part B did have a paintbrush in it. After they were both poured into each other, it was time to mix them again by rubbing them between my palms. After they were mixed, we were ready to apply the first coat of paint. And I just lightly painted this onto the surface. So it says to come back, allow it to dry for 10 minutes, and then come back for deep scratches. So I will be back to touch up this one some more but in that time I have more scratches to fill, so. So this spot has been 10 minutes. It is a different color. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but, um, and I knew this was gonna happen because of how old my tub is, but it is not as white, or the tub isn't as white as the fill, I guess I should say. But um, some of the other chips that I had, it was really noticeable from a distance. And so I want to try this technique that I did on the other ones now that it's been 10 minutes on this one because I need to put another coat just to fill more of that blackness. So what I did is you want to take very little strokes, not big strokes. So you're going to get off a lot of the paint off your brush. Okay, and then you're going to do fill the area. And I'm filling around the outside from where I did last time. So that way I can hopefully blend it a little bit more. So. Okay, so let's see if this works. So what I did is I take it, took a paper towel and I'm just gonna kind of blend it, dab it and on it. Okay, so it allowed it to blend really well and it did take off some of the old, so we're gonna kind of fill in this dark spots. Now I'm just smoothing those edges again don't know if the dabbing worked as well as I had hoped on this one, so I'm kind of just touching it up with 
but we did. Okay, we're gonna let that sit now for the 10 minutes and see if we need to touch that one up again. And I'm gonna work on the other ones yet again. As you can tell, it's not gonna be the precise color, but it does fill in the black. The shower curtain will cover this part. It won't cover up the other corner spot as well, but the little patches that I was telling you about, I'm gonna hurry and show you what I'm meaning and how I did that. Hopefully you can see this. So the spot that I'm talking about is right here. Um, you can probably see a little bit of the darkness. It was a darker spot earlier, but I did that wiping technique. So we're going to just try it again uh, since it's been 10 minutes and see if we can fill it in again. So there is the full just paint on. You can see how pronounced that really is. So now I'm just gonna take the paper towel and try to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so it's very, very light now. Actually, maybe is then take off there we go so that's where I'm gonna leave that one um it made it so it's not black but it is slightly discolored it's a little bit lighter if you can't tell through the video but it does hide the spot now and here is the bathtub after letting this paint cure you can see the bigger nicks better than the tiny little ones so just so you know if you want your tub to look very white you will want to retouch the whole thing rather than just touch up paint